What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So this will be another video about Prey aka the upcoming Predator 5 coming to Hulu in a few short weeks actually at this point because we're already in July. It's coming out on August 5th. I know a lot of you are excited about it. Uh, hopefully I get a screener for it soon. I can watch it do my review for the embargo list. But I wanted to do a video talking about what Dan Trachtenberg has stated in an in a interview recently with Time Out and going on about his approach to the movie and talking about exploring other ideas and like he he teased other things out there about maybe doing other sequels too but mostly just talking about what he had to say going into this movie he said that he wanted the predator to be scarier than we've seen it before now this again is coming from an article or an interview with timeout he added that it's intelligent and it has advanced technology and that makes it even more difficult to take on but because the movie is set 300 years in the past those things need to feel a little bit older than we've seen before but also still far more advanced than we think our earthlings will be able to handle so he also shared this about the appearance of the predator he said i wanted to make sure the head was more proportional to the body this predator is much more slimmer and less armored than it's ever been it's more creature it's still hulking and ferocious so honestly coming up recently i have re-watched predator i've started my marathon and i'm gonna eventually get to that 2018 movie that people keep telling me is so bad I've heard, it, I've heard it for years. I just never got around to watching a movie because I, again, have made it clear when I saw the first footage or footage of that movie, I said, I'm not dealing with this. I'm done. <laughs> uh, and I know I've made it clear I'm not a big fan of Alien versus Predator or any of that stuff. I'm, mostly my fandom comes from that original movie. Recently, we were watching that movie and, and refreshing my memory a little bit better. The trailer for Prey, while it does still sell me on the idea, and I'm very... I'm very intrigued by what I see, and the action sequences do, do still look a lot better than what I saw from the 2018 Predator footage. At the end of the day, I am a little bit concerned about the approach, only, only because I think there might be an issue where the messaging outshines the overall lore and mythos of what we already know to be true about Predator shaking it up a little bit too much to the point where it's not even convincing what you're trying to tell me we know that they want to do this female empowerment story which again is fine uh i made it clear that final girls will always have a place in the horror genre and final girls will always be a big selling point for the horror genre i myself doing all these videos you know i love final girls and i love the narratives around final girls but when it comes to predator going off of the original movie having recently rewatched it there is a sign or indications of not even that just knowing other stock thought being reminded of other aspects of the lore of predator predator and i've talked about this in other videos likes to hunt the best of the best i think i have anyway talked about this in other videos wants to hunt the top of the food chain now if i'm mistaken in this you can correct me in the comment section the problem going into Prey, as opposed to what we see in Predator, is that in Predator, I think there is enough established as to why the Predator then decides to stalk Arnold and those commandos. Going into Prey, you know, it's not really clear after rewatching that movie why Predator or a Predator would want to stalk this girl who can't even take down a bear. <laughs> and I'm not saying, again, that they can't do a good job selling you on a narrative in which a girl is very determined and will willfully driven to just fight the predator from the other aspect of it though from from the predator standpoint why would you waste time with this girl who can't even really take out a bear she's hiding from the bear <laughs> and the other issue there is that you have these men in the trailer who are delivering this dialogue to her that she's not ready and she wants to prove to them that she is ready. She wants to protect her tribe. I don't think that she's ready. I don't think that they are ready. I don't know why they're talking to her like, like that as if they are ready. They have like sticks and stones, essentially. Sticks and stones and bows and arrows. But after rewatching the trailer recently again, after again just recently watching the first Predator, there are men shown in the trailer, I believe, with guns. Why isn't Predator going after the guys with guns? <laughs> Why are you wasting time with these people with the inferior weapons if, again, the vibes coming from the first movie and the other lore and stuff I was reminded of while watching that movie, Predator would want to face the top of the food chain, which would not be people with sticks and stones and a girl that can't even take out a bear. 
<laughs> I'm just being honest. It's really just like, did the movie get too lost in its own messaging? I'll find out when I watch the movie and so will all of us. And ultimately, again, I'm even more convinced now. I need Predator to win this movie. I need Predator to win in this movie. Your empowerment narrative isn't lost if, if the girl doesn't succeed. So far from the footage, though, after having rewatched it with a reminded memory of that first Predator movie, this girl isn't prepared for this, and neither are those men that, that are in her tribe telling her that she's not ready. None of them are ready. They, they don't even prove themselves to be worthy opponents for the Predator. They're not ready for this. Those men with the guns are probably more ready, but the narrative isn't focusing on them, unfortunately. We're focusing on the girl who can't take out a bear and these other men who think they are ready for what's to come but we're shown in the trailer that they're also not ready because they they don't know what the hell they're doing either <laughs> you know it's all going to be a fun entertaining watch something that is going to be i would imagine a lot better than the other movies uh i just feel like the downfall here might be coming from that script the performances and everything else in between might keep it afloat and it might make it passable and serviceable but the approach here and the movie may be getting lost in its own messaging seems like it's on a high red alert for me after recently again rewatching the first predator movie and as i dive deeper into my rewatch i'm probably going to be reminded of a lot of other reasons why i should go into prey with that in mind because of the fact that again that predators should be wanting to hunt the best of the best the top of the food chain this wouldn't be this girl who can't take out the bear it would be the people shown in the trailer with the guns would it not am i wrong again i might be mixing up the lore of predator but after re-watching the first movie i was reminded of a lot of differences and what might and what is already making this approach inferior to that original movie i'm not saying it won't still end up being my second favorite but at the end of the day it's already clear the first movie still of course will reign supreme it reigns supreme over all the others so why am i nothing too shocking there i just hope that prey really does a good job other than what I've seen in the trailer, because at the end of the day, it's not selling you on that strong female empowerment narrative. Not not to me anymore. Not anymore. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, turn on post notification. You can miss a video in the description. I have links to social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.